Hi, welcome to my new video. This time I wanted to show you something a bit different. I was approached recently by the company making notebooks and sketchbooks called Mossery and they offered to send me one of their sketchbooks, the watercolor cotton paper sketchbook to test so I can just try to use it and tell you what I think about their product. This video is not sponsored but I was sent this sketchbook for free. As usual when you're ordering a sketchbook from their website I was able to choose the design of the cover that I liked, the letters that they printed for me on the cover, this is actually a quote from one of my favorite books, and the type of paper that I want to have inside and I chose the cotton watercolor paper. This is the first time I'm using one of their sketchbooks and I was surprised by some things, for example that it has some notebook pages first so you can make some notes and do some brainstorming, memorize some ideas and then you get to the watercolor paper that you use for your painting. And in the version I ordered it has full cotton watercolor heavyweight paper so it should be great for watercolor painting of any kind. And finally at the end we have a useful pocket and the back cover which has the rubber band that you can use to close the sketchbook up and a bookmark. The whole thing is really sturdy, it feels nice in the hand and it's not too heavy even though it has a lot of pages of watercolor paper and it's ring bound and the cover also has a nice matte finish. Okay, let's test the paper. Before I start doing anything in this sketchbook, I wanted to test how the paper behaves with the tools that I usually use for my art. So I will be using a fountain pen. This is a Lamy Safari with the M nib filled with waterproof ink. This is the Sailor Soboku ink. I want to test also how a pencil behaves on this paper, so how it will behave when I try to do the lines with the pencil. I'm using here a black wing. And also finally I want to test a regular fine liner, so a fine liner with a black waterproof ink, here the Pigma 0.8mm line thickness. Generally I was pleased how the line tools performed on this paper, even though its surface is hard and rough to the touch, the ink didn't bleed and I was able to control the lines pretty well. Maybe the pencil would be difficult to use for delicate small details that require more control. As expected from such heavyweight watercolor cotton paper, the watercolors worked really well on it. The washes were easy to control and I could produce all the watercolor effects that I was aiming for. The watercolors worked well also on the lines and the texture was beautiful. I was really surprised how well the granulating effect came out. And because the paper is so heavyweight, it was not even warping so much when I used more water. Okay, that's enough testing, let's actually do some sketching in it. For the first thing I chose a scene that I'm used to drawing, so an interesting house that I found while just walking around our neighborhood. First I did a really light sketch with the big evolution pencil, so it's the pencil that has this plasticky hard lead that leaves light marks that are just light enough so I can leave them behind and not bother erasing them at all. On top of it I did the line drawing using a softer black wing pencil. I tried to choose a softer pencil that will give me nice black lines that will be visible after I paint with the watercolors but still not too soft of a pencil so it will not dirty the watercolors when I try to paint with bright and diluted colors. And this is what I was aiming for in this sketch. I wanted to keep it simple and bright and saturated. So also I used the Michelo Mission Gold watercolors because they give me a palette full of simple saturated one pigment colors to work with. I'm also using here just one a bit bigger brush. This is a new one that I have bought recently. It's a synthetic fiber Raphael made brush and it's a travel brush so you can take the brass bottle off and use it as a cup when you're traveling. So it's a nice thing to use with a sketchbook like this to do some sketching outside. Okay, so while I'm sketching, let me share some thoughts that I had about this sketchbook. It's really light, even though it's volumey, so it takes a bit of space in your bag, but the quality of paper is really high, so it recompensates with the quality of paper. To be honest, in general, I'm not a fan of the ring binding because it makes things thick and cumbersome usually. 
but in this case because the sketchbook is thick as it is it has a lot of heavyweight paper inside i think that the ring binding might be the best solution here actually thanks to it the pages open flat and it's easy to paint on both sides of the paper but you cannot paint on both sides at the same time so you cannot make a bigger picture using both pages at once I believe that if you are buying such a good quality watercolor paper sketchbook uh, you are probably taking watercolor painting really seriously so I would be happy to have a choice of a bigger size so I can make more involved paintings too. Okay that's it for this sketch I think it turned out really well I liked the paper I liked the sketchbook I will be testing it more but if you want to test it also by yourself I have a nice promo from Mossery I have a code and a link that you can use to buy their sketchbooks with 15% off this month and you can choose the paper either the watercolor paper the cotton watercolor paper or the mixed media paper too the details are in the description Okay, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. As always, feel free to comment, share and subscribe and you can support me on Patreon. See you in the next one, bye!